Welcome back to Subclass Search, we'll be looking at the many subclasses of Dungeons and Dragons. With the Mythic Odyssey of Deros on its way in July, where the world of Magic the Gathering is coming to D&D, D&D Beyond has released their digital version early and gave us a peek into this realm filled with deities and other powerful beings. Along with the many boons for your characters and two new playable races, we have two new subclasses to explore. Both originally came from Unearthed Arcana but have now officially released. Today we'll be looking at the Bard subclass that puts the art in catharsis, it's the College of Elegance. Inspired by the Greek theatre, these birds live in deception. Spinning tales for an audience to hear is what these birds live for. I see them not unlike a muse. They are here to tell a tale to encourage a listener to toss a coin their way. If that tale is one that either Talia or Methamine is proud of, that is up to you. First up, at third level where you join this college, you develop your talent of speaking and your silver tongue can get you out of any situation. Now if you roll 9 or below for persuasion or deception, it's treated as a 10, so it will be easier to lie to get the money back for the orphanage you grew up in. You also get unsettling words at third level. You can spend one use of your bardic inspiration die to subtract the target's next saving throw. All you gotta do is shout out something unsettling to really freak out your foes, like, HEY! Do you realise your belly button is just your old mouth? Anyway, at 7th level your inspiration becomes unfailing. When someone uses an inspiration die you give them and the roll fails, they keep the die until it succeeds or runs out. It's like a participation trophy, and to give it more participation trophies you can use universal speech. You can make your words intelligible to creatures that might not be able to understand it before. You can let as many creatures understand you equal to your charisma modifier, so you can tell more people that their bones are always wet. After you've done bullying someone with your inspiration, you can now make your inspiration infectious. When a creature nearby you actually uses an inspiration die for once, I'm just gonna call it Carl. I gave you your inspiration and you didn't use it and you complain, he heal me! But you when you you add the dice to your saving throne, that wouldn't have saved you from the fireball, eh, you dinderhead? Oh sorry. Um reactions free die to someone else. Yeah. Thanks for watching, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Anyway, see you guys next time and boop!